Okay, I'm in San Carlos at the uh, San Carlos Marina office, and this is where you will get your. Uh, I guess you got to have all your paperwork in order to be able to use their boat ramp, and they were saying that you need uh, bring your registration, uh, your ID. They want to make sure that the boat you're bringing is your boat or your your merchandise, and they have parking. It's gonna be over there as long as you bring your trailer. Um, that's for the day for free and they have uh, the boat ramp here per day I think it's like an eight dollar per fee uh, per day and they actually have the marina the slips where you can park over there it, is, it depends on the uh, size of boat that you have and um, this is uh, some of the information that I have that they gave me that will kind of give you a little bit of information on uh, the uh, boat, the storage, I guess it is, and stuff like that. <laughs> and uh, here's a gentleman here. And come see, come see him. Choni. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, the marina and how this area, how it works with your boat and stuff like well, that? First of all, when you're crossing the border, you gotta get the TAP. Correct. Okay. And then, and then out here at the marina. If you come in, if you can, you come in like a day in advance, you're using the boat, mm -hmm. you can buy a ticket and you can put it in anytime you want to next day. So the ticket, you come here into the office and That's purchase like, a ticket? First of all, it's like this. Okay. I, I just got it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put the boat in tomorrow morning. Oh, okay. I had a time. So, yeah. Okay. If you, if you if you want to, you can buy it the same day you want to put it in, but the office, the office starts at 7.30. Okay. And it goes at 5. 5. So by five, you better come back. Maybe. You, gotta, you gotta buy two tickets. One put it in, one put it out. Oh, okay. Or either one you can get a sleep, which is, which is you gonna get a sleep. You gotta, you, you can bet, you can get better deal if you pay, if you pay one month, every one month in advance. Okay. And you can use every every two days, or you can use oh, once okay. in a while. And start paying every time. You pay a lot of money. Okay. If you pay one month in advance on the sleep, you you save a lot of money that way, or, or. Uh, I hear a winter. I hear mm -hmm. Winter the water is too shallow. Oh, it is. But the, but the, you you free to go. You, you know you free to go. Right, it's, it's on your own. It's on your own. Right. I mean the water is the water is very deep, but I just want you to know, some places very shallow. Right. So you have to be you have to be careful. Uh huh. So in summertime you have a, the whole summer is high tide. You 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 know you can go anywhere. Mm hmm. Uh. There's a. There's a several places you cannot go because if you go on the coastline, there's a rocks. You now, can, now, can you uh, spearfish and stuff like that? Or with the harpoon? You can, you can, you can spearfish in everywhere. You gotta get a license online. Oh, online, we okay. Don't have, we don't have an office for that, but it's very easy. It's only $60 a year. Okay, $60 a year. Uh, you can you can do a spear gun. You can, at the same time, I guess like $90. One year, you can get a spear gun, a spear gun and fish. Right, fish right. License uh -huh. At the same time. So. And then they have like a, 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 a maximum fish you can catch certain kind of fish or? That's a maximum, that's a maximum uh, well. and, and size of fish? And no, the... no. Any size, just, just, uh, just the numbers. You oh, can, okay. You can catch. So you got to know all that information before you go out there and start catching fish. You better know your information. Any fisherman knows that. <laughs> so, so, uh, what was, what, 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 what? Um, Pretty much, I mean, um, so you like I said, you just get your permits. Uh, you're not gonna know your times. You're coming in and timing out your your slips for launching. Uh, you can do it in advance. You can get your slips for uh, fishing, uh, launching your boat in advance if you want, and that can be from from the next day to two, three days in advance if you want. You can you can get a slip. You can get a slip for a week, for a week in advance. Right. But you can use it in several days. Uh, if you're not using, you can come in and trade it in. Oh, okay, for another for another time. Yes. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good to know. So pretty much, okay. So you do that, and uh, that's really good to know. And um, I know they have to have something like it's all like no wake zone in in the area. With no wake zone. The wake zone. The wake zone is not all the way around. All around the corner. Yes, you you can see the okay. police, and when the police stop, you can you can feel. I got I got you. I got. You. Now, are you allowed to when you leave? Are you out allowed to go to the to the uh, sand like the the beach parts around the corner or no? You can go anywhere. Oh, okay. 
you can go some some beaches they have a fence down but uh, you by boat you can go anywhere mm -hmm. uh if you if you need to if you need to uh, i can show you around this time for four hours and i show you around right and, right next time you uh you know where you go exactly the do's and don'ts you've been there done that yeah i understand that all right well like i said you've been very helpful and um I said, just had to educate myself on this. Uh, so we're going to go from there. But all right, you guys take care. Bye-bye.